hello and welcome back to my channel and to another tesco shopping haul so it isn't a massive one today because i have got a massive home bargains haul coming up on the sunday and i bought a lot of crisps and squash and snacks washing liquid and toilet rolls all that cleaning kind of stuff i really stocked up in there so i didn't need half as much in tesco so i've saved myself money so make sure you come back on sunday for that haul there's also some bits from Primark and TK Maxx in there as well it's like a huge homeware slash everything haul so that'll be up on Sunday but I thought I'd pop this up anyway because this is like the basis of our weekly shop so I'll take you through everything I bought at the end I'll let you know exactly how much I spent and take you through next week's meal plan so to start with we've got some fresh fruit and veg I was laughing because this iceberg lettuce is literally more like the size of a sprout it's tiny um but that's all they had. Lettuce seems to be quite scarce at the moment. I'm not sure why. I got some Chantenay carrots. So we've got some sweet peppers, one cucumber. I got two lots of grapes because they were two pound each. There goes the dog. Two pound each or two for three pounds. So I got two of those. I got some rocket, some baby plum tomatoes. I got some shallots for a beef recipe, like a slow cooker one that I'm making. Some close cut mushrooms. I got some baby chestnut mushrooms, which are also for the beef recipe. So that is it for the fruit, fresh fruit and veg. I've still got potatoes, onions, um, a load of apples, a pepper, and other various bits and bobs in the fridge. So I didn't need masses. I got two lots of diced beef. I'm doing a slow cooked red wine, like shallot kind of. I can't remember what it's called, but it's got red wine in it. I know that. So I got two of that. I got some lean British steak mints for a spaghetti bolognese. I got two lots of cold and flu stuff. These are just some like Lemsip things and some max strength flu tablets because none of us are particularly well in this house at the moment, especially Steve and Oscar, they've been really poorly. I got some turkey dinosaurs. For some reason, Oscar and I were having a conversation on the way to school today and dino nuggets came up and then we got silly about it and I bought these to make him smile because we like our little in jokes and I thought that would cheer him up and he can have those for his dinner, his little dino nugs. I've got some steam bags of cauliflower rice, some chip shop favourites. These are the Young's fish portions and we these are our favourite ones. They're not the most expensive either. They're just always really nice white fish, really nice and flaky. So I've got two boxes of those and some of these nice steak cut oven chips which I'll probably do in the air fryer and then I've got peas in the cupboard so we can have fish chips and peas. I've got two boxes of these haagen salted caramel ice creams. I have emptied them into the freezer and the other boxes in there because we finally got some sunshine here in the UK today and they are melting very quickly. These are supposed to be £3.50 a box and they were £2 so I've got two of those. I'm still on the quest for my kitchen storage. I've done quite a bit so far and I'm running out of tubs and things I thought I overbought but I didn't I underbought and now I can't get hold of some of the bits I need but I'm still going still plowing through I am still filming it um but it's going to be a little while because I just can't find the containers I need so I got another two of these to go in my spice cupboard I think and these were only one pound 75 they're just like the plastic they're really sturdy as well so I've got two of those um, they should be 350. I got some kettle chips, sea salt and balsamic vinegar, and some jalapeno cheese Max Strong. I got a deodorant. I fancied this one today, pomegranate and lemon scent, and that sounds really nice. That was about one pound sixty-eight, which I thought was quite good for that. I got some unsweetened coconut milk. We're going to be having a kielbasa pasta bake, so I got a creamy tomato sauce for that. Four tins of beans because we are completely out, and you get four tins for a pound. I'm going to be doing a curry in the week, so I got some garlic and coriander mini naans. Well, some of these are Neville's pan au chocolat, these go really nicely in the air fryer and they're good for like a grab and go breakfast. I got two packs of curly whirlies, just keep these in the fridge, they're just a really nice little snack with a cup of tea of an evening. Some are cheese singles because I've got some burgers left over from my little haul. I used one pack and I've got one pack left, so that'll be a burger night. Fridge Raiders because I tend to have these as like picky lunches with like chopped apple and like cheese string and cucumber and that kind of thing. Some of our favourite yoghurt which is just the free from plain yoghurt, it's just a soy alternative to dairy and it's just really creamy and nice. I got some wafer thin roast chicken slices which was £2 today instead of 3 
two of these fillers we've got a chicken and bacon and a coronation i have got a really nice recipe for coronation chicken i've done it in a meals of the week video from an app that i use um but i wanted to just buy these for ease today but that recipe is up in one of my meals of the week videos if you are interested i got 12 free range eggs i got some lentil and bacon soup because my throat is quite sore so i thought i might have that for my lunch today some plum tomatoes so i'm boiling the bag long grain rice to go with the curry is that it oh <laughs> and a tesco magazine i absolutely love the tesco magazine this is free and usually it is full of really really good recipes and ways to use ways to use things up i'm not sure i'd want to make avocado ice lollies to be fair i mean that sounds a little bit unpleasant but yeah I, i'm not sure if i've already got this one i don't i didn't think i did have no i don't think i've already got this but i just love the recipes in here they look amazing don't they what are they they are halloumi stuffed peppers well obviously i'd like those i absolutely love halloumi anyway i'm gonna sit and have a read through that once i've put this away I spent just over £60, it was like £61 something. So what I will do now is take you through next week's meal plan and don't forget to come back on a Sunday for that Home Bargains stroke Primark stroke Matalan haul where I did the rest of my weekly shop and bought loads of stuff for my bathroom makeover as well. I had to pop back on this, this French stick, honestly, is trying to elude me today. It's already come out of both ends um, and it's flown across the car. I nearly left it in the trolley and it almost got squashed when i shut the boot so it doesn't want to come in and then it hid from me in the food hall so i also got a salt and pepper baguette which is what we will be having with the sandwich fillers so my meal plan tonight we are going to have spaghetti bolognese tomorrow night we've got burger night and steve and i are going to have that french stick with some sandwich filler saturday i'm going to do a curry with rice and naan breads on Sunday, I've got a slow cooked red wine beef with shallots, chantonet carrots, baby mushrooms, and I'll probably do that with some mashed potato. On Monday, I will do the kielbasa pasta bake with peppers and onions in. Tuesday, I'm gonna do good old fish chips and peas. And then on Wednesday, I'm gonna leave it clear for leftovers, digging stuff out the freezer, all that kind of thing. So that is my meal plan for next week. <laughs> Just look at this picture of Oscar. That was his passport photo where he wasn't allowed to smile. He must have been three there. Oh my goodness. He looks like a right little thug. Anyway, so that is my meal plan for next week.